Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be making our way to the Undead Settlement. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really, all I did was farm up 35,000 souls. I also went ahead and bought myself some fire arrows. Um, I, you don't really need 99. I just went a little overboard and bought 99. You could probably get away with like buying 10, uh, 20 max. So you don't have to have 99. Um, and that's all I did. So let's go ahead and level up. And then we're going to level up our weapon. And we'll get started. Welcome, Husby. Very well, then take me. So we're going to level up our Vigor, Endurance, Vitality. We're going to skip over Strength because it's at 16. We're going to put two into Dex so that these two are at 16. And we're going to slowly level up our Vigor and Endurance and our Vitality until these match 16 as well. Farewell, Ashmaiden. Now let's go over to Andre. We're going to level up our sword. I did, as I was farming, by the way, I did get enough uh, Titanite shards to level up our Claymore one more time. Or actually two more times because we have uh, two large Titanite shards as well. That is good, isn't it? Let's <laughs> two hand our weapon and then we are going to make our way over to the undead settlement. So we're going to travel over to the, uh, the Boreal Valley bonfire. Now we're going to come out here and we're going to raise the banner. Always love coming over here because it like zooms out so you can see everything. Looks so freaking cool. Let's go ahead and raise the banner. Let's light this bonfire after being whisked away by those creepy ass messengers. Grab ourselves a large soul and then we're going to come down here and we're going to have three or four dogs that are going to be released out of that gate. So the gate's going to open up gonna be some dogs oh my goodness they're everywhere they're gonna attack the hollows by the way which killing these hollows is pointless you won't get any souls for killing them so keep that in mind I mean if you want to kill them you can I'm gonna sneak up on these dogs Take them out real quick, put on some alluring skulls, and then what we're going to do is we're going to equip these alluring skulls because they're going to come in handy a little later. <laughs> Please grant me death, undo my shackles. <laughs> Then it's true. 
a champion of ash as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yol of Londor, a pilgrim as you can see, only somehow I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, champion of ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. We're going to accept his service? Oh, I am honored, truly. I should be dead, yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. So he will go back to Firelink Shrine and we will be interacting with him once we go back there. We're going to grab these Homeward Bones. We're actually going to get five free levels from Yol of Londor. Or as I like to call him, good old Coochie Face. Go ahead and light this bonfire. And then we're gonna run this way. We got two of these guys. If you can get them to bunch up, you can kill them quite easily. Also, just a side note, if you roll into them, they have very little poise. It will stagger them, make it easier for you to kill them. Grab the small leather shield off of that corpse. Right here we have a thrall. We can grab this item real quick. Charcoal pine resin. That uh, will put fire on your weapon when you use it. As long as your weapon doesn't already have an element on it. Like if your weapon is imbued with like fire or dark or something like that, you can't put an element on it. Get some uh, repair powder. Drop down right here. Kill that guy right there. Some more charcoal pine bundles. And then right over here, we're going to pick up Loretta's bone. So now we can give that to Grey Rat and let him know uh, Loretta is dead. Shoot those barrels is going to kill those um, undead. This is why I made sure to buy the fire arrows. And then we can shoot these guys in the head. Oh wow, that went right through his armpit. Man, my aim is so off today. Be very careful not to draw the attention of that evangelist. You do not want to be fighting her and a bunch of these hollows at the same time. guys shouldn't be too hard they're pretty squishy we have one more to kill and then we can fight the evangelists so we'll come over here grab another soul Oh, 
get a backstab on her. And then a charged R2. And she is dead. Get ourselves an Estus Shard. We'll be able to level up our Estus Flask now. Ooh, did I get those gloves? That's cool. We'll put these gloves on. I like them a lot better anyways. Put on the worker's gloves. Grab ourselves an ember. And then we're going to pull out our bow. And look up. Shoot that body down. Get some kukri. We hop down. We can kill that hollow there. There's a guy over here too we want to take out. Careful not to go off the edge. That's never any fun. I promise. Right here we have another Titanite shard. So we'll be able to upgrade our bow. A little later. Love to use my bow to take out one of them and then I don't have to fight both of them at the same time. Just kind of spoiling an ambush on them. Not that it really matters, but it's just extra souls. We're going to come over here, open up this door, and we see an item right there, but be very careful. We have this enemy, well actually multiple enemies in a cage. Get ourselves a charcoal pine resin. And then we're going to hit this down. Go ahead and grab ourselves a large soul of a deserted corpse. And then right here, we have a hole in the floor. Hop down it. And get the Warrior of Sunlight. For those of you that have played Dark Souls 1, you know Solaire. It's the one that started the... Well, he didn't start it, but <laughs> you uh, can become a Warrior of Sunlight. And praise the sun. Open this door. Go out here. Now you can go down here and kill all that stuff. But there's no point to it. We're not going over that way until much later into the episode. So I'm not even going to bother. Okay. I'm just making sure I put on the Warrior of Sunlight. Which you don't have to do. Uh, I just like to. That way when I'm helping people, I'm golden. I'm a golden boy. I wake up in the morning, I praise the sun. I eat my breakfast, I praise the sun. Before I go to bed, I praise the sun. Every day I just praise the sun, man. Go ahead and take him out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up this door right here. Be very careful. A lot of times a thrall will hop down right here. He's at the top. He doesn't always hop down. But there's a lot of times that he either falls down because of his AI or whatnot. But we also right here get the Caducius Round Shield. I think that's how you pronounce that. I'm not sure. Be very careful. You go over here. Those guys up there are going to throw some firebombs and blow up all those barrels. So what I like to do is come right here, hop down, stagger this guy, make him look like a baby back bitch, take that guy out. We're going to light this bonfire. This is going to make our life a little easier after we get through all this. Grab our bow out. Shoot down the corpse. We'll come back to get that item because it's going to fall down on the ground below us. And then right over here. We have a guy that's going to teach us pyromancies. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Aha, unkindled are we? Welcome to my abode. 
I am Cornix, an old pyromancer. A crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are, an encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. Care to learn some pyromancies from this old man? Ah, most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> so he's going to go back to Firelink Shrine as well. We'll talk to him uh, much later. Well, I don't want to say much later, but a little later. We're going to hop down on top of this new enemy. These guys are very beefy. Be very careful. Here's the body that we shot down. Gives us the partisan. If you're holding a shield, you can actually hold the shield out and use that weapon at the same time. Go ahead and get the soul of a traveler. This guy is non-hostile and he will not give you any souls either when you kill him. So we're just going to grab the fire clutch ring and uh, leave him to lament. Now we're going to backtrack a little bit. We're going to come back over here where the thrall hopped down. We're going to veer off to the left where all these boxes and barrels are. There's going to be a bunch of thralls that we're going to have to kill. First one's right here. Second one's going to be right there. Third one's going to run at us right here. This guy, we want to run and just take his ass out. Use your bow on this guy. I don't know why I, uh, my guy didn't lock on, like, or unlocked on, however you say that. I don't know. <laughs> We're grabbing the fire bombs over here, and then we'll go up there in just a second. First, let's grab this shield. This is the plank shield. I would not recommend using that to anybody. And we're going to talk to this NPC. Another Nana disappeared. Sir Grant and carry the cage. He ever has his cage. And Nana's never coming back. So come into the cage and become Nana's shade. Very unique dialogue, should I say. But I love it. I love it. Come over here. Grab a two homeward bones and then we're going to hop down right here. I suggest everybody hopping down right here, following this along, hopping down and then hop down one more time. For some reason, even if you hop down from right here, you take fall damage. I have no clue why. Does not make sense to me. So we're going to be getting in into this guy's cage, but before we do, I just want to point out there is a body hanging over there. But if you hit it or shoot it with a bow or anything, it's just going to fall down that way. So we'll come back and get that another time. For now, let's get in the cage. So we can see an NPC over here. 
going to be talking to him in just a moment. First, we're going to grab this item. This is the War God Wooden Shield. Let's go ahead and talk to this NPC. Well, what's up? This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you, sane folk. Or perhaps you are a hollow, posing as otherwise? Oh, yes, yes, then we are just fine. It's important to know who you are. But we'll all be mad soon enough. And should you be undead, well, all the more so. Beware, the shackles of the gods are fragile. You might need this. Etch it on your heart if you feel your sanity slipping. This is the Mound Maker's Covenant. Actually, a really cool covenant uh, you can get into. Uh, somebody can summon you into their world. You can help them kill enemies and kill them, too. Uh, can't help them with a boss, but it's just a very unique covenant. Come here to pile up your victims, for that will form your anchor. You'll see when you go mad. They'll be your family. <laughs> You'll go mad one day, but not today. Take my advice. Use this bone and leave this place. This pit is for hollows and for the occasional madman fond of piling up victims. You've better things to do, I'd hope. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to use a Homeward Bone to head back to Firelink Shrine. I'll see everybody there. So now that we're back at Firelink Shrine, we have a couple of people to talk to. First person we're going to talk to is Ludlith. Fret not, fret not, for I. Listen, this might peak. Before I was a Lord of Cinder, I was a student of transposition. The process of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. A forbidden art that once left a foul stain upon Corlin's honor. Tis an art that grants powers once thought unattainable. Most Transposing kilns were lost with Corland, but this place is a crossing for all manner of cursed objects. If thou happenst upon a transposing kiln, bring it to me, quick. Sorry about that, I did not mean to skip his dialogue. Now, now. Now we're going to come over here. Love this dude's outfit. Hmm. Unkindled, are we? And fast on the trail of the Lord's absconded? Then these red eyes are for you. Use them to pillage embers and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> And then we're going to come over here, talk to Hawkwood, a.k.a. Crestfallen. What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. We're talking true legends. Oh, I thought he had new dialogue. I'm sorry. Lame. Let's go talk to uh, Grey Rat. He will get new dialogue soon, though. A Hawkwood, that is. Oh, hello, and in one. Go ahead and give him Loretta's bone. Heavens, she was already dead. Thank you. I'm not surprised, though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring as, well, a little trinket of thanks, I suppose. 
Goodbye. Oh, this place. <laughs> okay, so over here is Yule. And Yule is a very interesting NPC. Let's go ahead and talk to him first, and then I'm going to explain what he does. Oh, our champion of ash. Welcome home. This pilgrim with a debt in death hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. And I never would have had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this and assure you of my leal service. Let's go ahead and talk to him one more time. As I have said, I was once a sorcerer Alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. But I can teach you what I know. Perhaps, more importantly, I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special so if we're talking to him we get the emote beckon or gesture whichever you want to call it he also has some spells you can purchase from him up to you if you're a sorcerer and you need any of these spells you should pick them up while you can and then right here he's going to allow us to draw out our true strength now if you're wanting to take the Dark Lord path like I'm doing, you want to do this. We're going to have to do this five times. The first time, we don't have to kill ourselves. But the next four times, we're going to have to kill ourselves eight times. And we're going to have to do it in a sequence of two. So every two deaths, you come back to him, you draw out your strength, and then you get a free level. And then you'll kill yourself two more times, draw out your strength, and get a free level. So let's go ahead and do that now. Then shall we begin? Bearer of the dark sign, let your true strength shine. So what we're gonna do is put one into vitality. Be safe, champion of ash. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off the blue tear stone ring. That way it will be easier to kill ourselves. And what I like to do is come all the way to the top of Firelink Shrine. And I like to jump off this spot over here. Now it may, depending on your health, it may take you a couple of times, like two times to jump off here to kill yourself. But let's do that now. Yep, I knew it. One more time. And then after I kill myself two times, uh, I'll be back. So I'm going to cut the video and then um, I'll see you after I kill myself two times. All right. I went ahead and killed myself two times. Do make sure that you're picking up your souls after every single death or else you're going to lose them all. So just keep that in mind. Unless you don't have any souls, then it doesn't really matter. We're going to come over here. We're going to talk to Grey Rat real quick. He's going to have some new dialogue. Heavens, she was already dead. So we get the curl up uh, gesture from Grey Rat. Now let's talk to Yule. Oh, I... Then shall we bear? And then we're going to put one into vigor. Be safe. And then I will see everybody in a second after I kill myself two times. All right, we're back after our two deaths once again. Let's go over to Grey Rat. We're going to talk to him one more time. And this time, we're going to send him out to pillage. So if you want to buy anything from Grey Rat right now, buy it now before he leaves because you will not be able to 
um, talk to him or anything because he'll be gone until we kill the boss in the undead settlement. Ah, there you... You know I'm a petty thief. Well, perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Everyone's dead or hollowed away anyway, right? So I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Well, what do you say? Thank you. You will not be disappointed. Grey Rat the Thief was once a well-known name. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. <laughs> Goodbye, deuced. <laughs> Sorry, I keep skipping dialogue, the beginning of the dialogue. I'm hitting X too much. I apologize. All right, let's draw out oh, our strength. Then show bear. Put one into endurance. Be safe. I forgot. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right. I'll see everybody in just a second after I kill myself two times. All right. Killed myself two more times. Let's go ahead and draw out some more strength. Oh, I then shall bear. Put it into vitality. By the way, vitality is going to up our defense and our equip load. That's why I'm uh, upgrading Vitality. I'm probably gonna only upgrade Vitality to 20, maybe 25. Um, you don't have to do that if uh, you don't wanna wear any heavy armor or anything like that. You can keep it at a very low Vitality. Totally up to you. Be safe. All right, I'll see everybody after I kill myself two more times and this will be the last time. So I'll see everybody in just a moment. All right, and I have killed myself two more times and for the last time so that we can draw out our strength one last time. Also notice that our face is looking quite wrinkly, almost like beef jerky. Oh, I... then shall we bear? We're going to put a point into Vigor. Now we have Vigor up to 16 and we just got to get Endurance and Vitality up to 16. Peace. Now Yule is going to die whenever we come back into Firelink Shrine. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a Homeward Bone to use it to come back to the Firelink Shrine. And we're going to have a new NPC to talk to. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, we can come over here and... Right over here, we'll see that Yule is dead. And now, we have Yuria here. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Oh, prithee. Art thou good Yule's master? I am Yuria of Londor, a close friend of his. Thanks to thee, Yule's soul is redeemed. Allow me to express my gratitude in his stead. Another matter. That a lord, art thou not? Bearer of the dark sigil. And our lord of hollows. For the time thou remainst our lord, we of Londor shall serve thee. And I, of course, am also thine. Now, she has quite a few things that we can purchase. Number one, she's got all the uh, same spells as Joel did to purchase. But she also has the Dark Hand. That's a really cool uh, fist weapon. You can grab enemies and suck like their souls out and stuff. Super cool. Uh, over here, the Untrue Dark Ring. That's going to allow you to retain your appearance uh, of not being hollow. So you'll look human. Um, this, if you're playing online and people are invading you, you can turn yourself to look like a phantom, or if you're helping somebody, you can turn yourself to look human. And then she also has some rings of sacrifice. 
Now this Londor Braille Divine Tome, I'm not going to buy it yet. That way people don't get confused because we're going to get an NPC that is going to want Braille Divine Tomes and you do not want to give this one to her. So right now we're just going to set this aside and not buy it. Till we meet again. May the dark sigil guide thee. Now let's see if Hawkwood has any new dialogue. If he doesn't, I'm just going to skip right through it. Ooh, yet to give in, eh? Good. The firekeeper must be twitching with delight. But what do you really know about these Lords of Cinder? These supposed legends? Let's take Aldrich for one. A right and proper cleric. Only he developed a habit of devouring men. He ate so many that he bloated like a drowned pig. Then softened into sludge. So they stuck him in the Cathedral of the Deep. And they made him a Lord of Cinder, not for virtue, but for might. Such as a Lord, I suppose. But here I ask, do we have a sodding chance? <laughs> At the foot of Lothric Castle, an old path still runs below the tower in the undead settlement. It was used to transport sacrifices to the Cathedral of the Deep. You should see where it leads. If you've the stones for it. <laughs> he knows where it leads. All right, now we can head back to the undead settlement. We're going to travel to the cliff underside. I'll see everybody over there. Okay, now that we're at the cliff underside, let's go ahead and put our thief mask back on. And then be really careful. We don't want to aggro this guy again, but we want to hop off here and come down these stairs. These hollows over here to the right do not give you any souls, so you don't have to kill them if you don't want to. We're going to come over here. The thrall is going to climb up, just back up, take him out real fast, pick ourselves up a large soul of a deserted corpse, and then we want to be really careful. We have an evangelist right there, pathing up the staircase there. We just want to take out these guys first. And then there's a dog this way. Just making sure nothing's coming up behind me. She's gonna try to grab us. Get behind her. Get a backstab. Charged R2. And she's dead. So up there, those doors are locked. We won't be able to open them up until the end of this area. So we're just going to leave it be. Every now and then there's a dog that paths over here. There's actually two dogs. One that's over there. And then usually one that's over here. But it probably fell down over here. Sometimes the AI is a little janky. Pull out our bow. We'll use the fire arrows. You don't want to fight both of these guys together. The pot boys. Careful, they're going to throw the pot at you. If it hits you, it does hurt. I promise. You know what else we forgot to do? We forgot to level up our bow and also get an extra Estus flask. I 
can't believe I forgot to grab an Estus flask upgrade. That's okay. Maybe. Now this guy will throw his bowl at you once he gets to 50% health. Oh my goodness. So now he threw his bowl. I am just getting wrecked, man. So right here, we're going to want an alluring skull. We can throw it right over here. Get those dogs to attack it. Kill the dogs. And then we can take off our alluring skull. And get three more. So now we have four of them. We're going to come over here. We're going to talk to Egon. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Hmm. No matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you'll go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You, here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> yeah. We're going to come over here to this cell. We can see an NPC back there. But the door does not open up from this side. So let's talk to Egon, see what he has to say about it. You like poking around in cells, do you? <laughs> How very genteel. <laughs> ah. Taking an interest in her, if you... Which is a lost cause. Couldn't even become a firekeeper. After I brought her all this way and got her all ready. She's beyond repair, I tell you. <laughs> He's very pessimistic. But in the end, I think he actually cares about her. So we're going to step over here. And if we look up... We can see that body that I said we're not going to worry about for a little bit. You want to make sure you hit it on its left side so it'll fall off down towards us. There we go. Go ahead and pick ourselves up the flame stone plate ring. I'm going to open up these double doors. Then right here, we have Sigurd of Katarina. Hmm. 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 Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. 
This lift only goes down. But you know, with a little warming up, eventually... No. No. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're going to take the elevator down. Be very careful. We're going to have an Irithyll Knight, and they are no joke. So what I like to do is run this way, open up the double doors. You will have iframes, so it won't be able to hurt you. Not yet, at least. You can also shoot it from the doorway if you feel more comfortable with that. I like to do this and then back away and then it turns around hit it again back away and then run hit it kill it it's dead and for killing the Irithyll Knight we get the Irithyll straight sword really good sword for all you sorcerer builds we're gonna light that bonfire we're not gonna sit at it or else all the enemies are going to respawn we don't want that. We're just going to backtrack and go up the elevator. Now what we're going to do is run across this switch, send the elevator down. And we'll see that there is another elevator platform that will take us up. Hmm. If we walk straight over here, get a soul of a nameless soldier. And then up top here is a giant. Now, if we didn't make friends or anything with this giant, he would constantly shoot at us when we start crossing over. Let's see if I can find it. Somewhere over there. And we don't want that. We want to be able to... It's over there is where it's at. Uh, we want to be able to have him help us. So let's make peace with him. Who are you? I help any time. He's going to give us the young white branch. Now you can start out with that item if you want. And then you don't even have to come up there and talk to the giant. You just walk by very casually and he'll shoot everything but you. Now we're going to hop off in just a moment. We can see a platform coming up. Hmm. And we can see Sigurd. Hmm. Mmm. Ah. Oh. Don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I'm no coward and I've a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. I could try talking some sense into him, no, I think not. He's far too overheated. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. 
So we're going to hop down here. We're going to be fighting our first stray demon. No! You should have waited! Well, it's too late now. I, Siegward of the Knights of Katarina, fight by your side! Be careful not to hit Sigward. If you hit him, he can go hostile towards you. Killing him, we get a fire gym. That was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But for the moment, we've a toast to make. He gives us a sig brew. To your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> and then we're going to talk to him one more time. <laughs> so we get the sleep gesture from him and the toast gesture from him. That was a very close call, by the way. I almost died <laughs> from that stray demon. Right here we have a body hanging. We can get a pale tongue. Get the northern armor. Then we're going to come over here. Get ourselves some red bug pellets. That will boost your fire resistance if you use that. And then right here, as soon as we get close to that item, these guys are going to drop down. Get an alluring skull. Then right over here, Let's kill this uh, cage guy first. But right over here are two dogs. Just want to attract one at a time. Now as soon as you open this chest, these cage guys are going to hop down or fall down. Just want to back away. Sometimes they'll throw some big hot turds at you, so be careful for that. Nobody likes to get hit in the face with a hot turd. I'm sure somebody does out there, but I'm not somebody that would be fond of that. Get some human pine resin, and then we're going to pull out our bow, and we have two evangelists right next to us. So you're going to want to shoot the one on the right first. Because that one is going to only shoot projectiles at you. Just kind of hide behind the pole after she shoots Doris's gnaw at you. That's what that spell is called, by the way. And then we can sneak up behind the other one. Just got to make sure that you're walking pretty slow. Get a charged R2. Get some evangelist trousers. I'd love to get an Estus or two back, but I don't 
see that that is in the cards. We get the Flynn ring, very um, lackluster ring in my opinion. But here in a second, we're going to get a better ring. Get some Homeward Bones. And then right over here, we can roll off. And then hop off here. Grab the Mara set. Or Mara? I don't know how to pronounce that. But we also get the Chlorinthy ring. We're going to put that on immediately. We forgot to put our blue stone tier, or blue tear stone ring on again it probably would have helped me in the mini boss fight with the stray demon so we're just hopping off here and then we have come full circle this is where we came down originally and then we crossed that bridge right over there now we're going to come over here be careful there is a dog in here ahead and take him out we're almost to a bonfire so if you're low on Estus and you're like man I need a, I need some flasks I'm out just around the corner from a bonfire I think those are called the Cistus I'm not sure I'm really bad when it comes to names. But we want to target these small rats in the fog here. Take out the big rat. Get the blood bite ring and a large soul of a deserted corpse. I don't believe that is a guaranteed drop from the big rat, but it does have a very high chance to drop. I'm going to open up this cage. Or the door, not a cage. I'm sorry. Light this bonfire. And then we're going to sit at this bonfire just so we can get some Estus back. We're not going back that way anyways. Once we get through here, we're going to be beating a boss and going straight back to Firelink. These guys have a good chance to drop the Great Machete. Pretty good uh, strength weapon if you're doing a strength build. It can be turned into a quality weapon, but it's not nearly as good. Killing the Crystal Lizard will give us a sharp gem. Then right over here. We can climb this ladder. We can try to sneak up on this evangelist and get a charged R2. Take her out as quick as possible. Get ourselves a Titanite shard. Climb down this ladder. Kill that guy. And that guy. It's a guy that's just off to the left. I know it. There he is. Sneaky bastard. Okay, so normally the thrall is hanging up top there. And this guy busts the door and comes out. But for some reason, he was just chilling right there. Right here, we're going to grab the whip. Right here, this guy, we can kill him. Earlier into the episode, I said, hey, we're not going to go down this uh, route because it just leads out to the other side towards the end of the area. Well, that's where this is at. Back when we got the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant. Get the soul of an unknown traveler. And then right over here, we're going to 
get ourselves Titanite Shard. We want as many Titanite Shards as we can get. And then we want to run and jump to the left. Now, if you miss this item, it's really not a big deal. It's just two rusted coins. It's going to upgrade your item discovery, which, let's be honest, item discovery isn't that important unless you're trying to farm something very specific. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our Ember. And Hodrick is going to invade us. Go ahead and get that backstab. Get a charged R2. Be very careful. He can inflict bleed. He also can parry you, so be very careful with that. Drink a flask. Now, if you took damage before he dies, drink a flask or two, you're going to get a flask back. So for killing him, we get a vertebra shackle. Uh, we don't want to use that at the covenant. We're going to hold on to that. We can give it to the crows a little later. And then right over here, you can see all these great arrows sticking into the ground. That is from the giant. He's going to help us out. See how he's shooting these hollows so there's a bunch of hollows he can shoot and help you out with you can actually do this like bump into them stagger them he's pretty accurate besides right then get ourselves a reinforced club a young white branch, an ember, a fading soul. Don't worry about the message. <laughs> young white branch, a large soul of a deserted corpse. Okay, so right here, you want to run and jump. And we want this item. This is an undead bone shard. Now we're going to run and jump again. Uh, we'll kill this guy real quick. That way we don't have to worry about him later. And then we're going to come up here. And then up top. You can see a thrall. Be very careful. He's going to jump down and try to kill you. Go ahead and get ourselves the cleric set. And we can get the Mortician's Ashes. We can give that to the lady at Firelink. Grab ourselves a firebomb. And then right in here. Got an undead just chilling there. Pretty easy to kill him. And then we can see an item right over here. We're going to run and jump. Go ahead and grab the Great Scythe. It's an okay dex weapon. Kind of middle of the road. Right over here to the right. You can open up these double doors. And this will lead you right back over to where the cliff underside is. So if you die, you can make a quick run right back to the boss. And the boss is just over there. You can see that weird amalgamation of like pus sacks and just grossness. I believe it's called the Curse Rotted Great Wood. Nice. Yes, it's called the Curse Rotted Great wood. First try.
great thing about the curse rotted great wood is he can hurt the hollows that are in this arena as well so if you're having issues with the hollows ganging up on you just give it a moment he'll stomp on them Wow, I thought I was far enough away. Guy's got reach. Now we're gonna hit the pus sacks. That's right there. This is a very gimmicky fight. Pretty easy. Unless you're me and just playing like doo doo. Now that we hit the pus sacks on the front, he's going to slam on the ground. The ground's going to break. And if we can, we can hit that really quick while he's trying to compose himself. Make it easier on ourselves. Now if we come around to the front, Hit the hand once and it's dead super easy boss fight so for killing the great wood the rotted great wood I'm sorry uh, we get the soul of the rotted great wood along with the transposing kiln so we'll be able to bring that to Ludlith I'm gonna light this bonfire you can see that Hodrick got crushed by the debris that came falling down or the great wood one of the two let's go ahead and sit at this bonfire and then we are going to fast travel back to firelink shrine i'll see everybody over there all righty everyone this is where we're going to end the video i want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video it really does mean a lot to me hopefully you all enjoyed it if you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.